So a dust hazard analysis is a systematic review of the processes, equipment, and uh, building compartments to identify fire and explosion hazards at an industrial site. DHAs are required by NFPA 652, as well as several of the other commodity-specific standards, such as NFPA 61 for food and ag, and uh, 664 for wood products and others. Most importantly, besides just being a regulatory requirement, DHA is the first step in really understanding fire and explosion hazards in a process. So it's critical to systematically look at your equipment to see where could there be fires, where could there be explosions, with the goal of keeping your employees safe and maintaining business continuity. So NFPA requires the DHA to be led by a qualified person. That's someone who through training or special skills or knowledge understands fire and explosion hazards from combustible dust. But you also need help from other people, typically experts in the manufacturing site, so operators, maintenance personnel, engineers, um, all of those can help you perform the DHA, but it does need to be led by a qualified person. So that would be either you know, a corporate subject matter expert or a third party contractor who you know, is extremely familiar with combustible dust hazards and has a good knowledge of that. If you're trying to do a DHA yourself, you can use this website. Or if you just want to learn more and you're looking for some outside help, this will give you the basics and understanding of what a DHA is, why you need it, um, and who can help you perform one.